Broncos country. Welcome back to the Broncos Podcast Network and YouTube for the latest edition of Broncos Now. As always, I'm your host, Sydney Jones, and the team had their final practice of the week today as they are set to take on the Vikings at home for their final preseason game in just two days. We heard yesterday from head coach Nathaniel Hackett that quarterback Brett Rippon will start in Saturday's game and that Josh Johnson will come in in the second half. With Saturday's game being the preseason finale, Coach Hackett details what he'll be looking for from both of them. The consistency, I think, is the big one. We want to be sure that they're going out there executing the plan, um, understanding when we want to change plays or keep the same play on and understanding the progressions and all those things and making good decisions. Up to this point, they've made some pretty good decisions, so we want them to continually take care of the ball also. Coach Hackett also officially announced today that K.J. Hamler will play in a Saturday's game. He's going to get a couple snaps, and both Coach Hackett and offensive coordinator Justin Outman are excited to see him back out there. Getting into the football shape, him getting out there, being in full pads, watching him run, you definitely feel some of that speed uh, that he has and that he brings and just kind of the attitude he brings. I mean, he, he's great to have out there, and, uh, you know, he's just going to have to continually build into it. You want to get him started. You want to get his confidence back. You know, he's been in a uh, controlled setting for this whole time, and he's eager, man. He is. He's, re he's revving to go. He's excited. Uh, we're excited to see him back there inside the white lines. Plus, defensive coordinator Ejero Ivero spoke to the media today for the first time since the Broncos' second preseason game versus the Bills last Saturday. He gave his thoughts on the defense's performance. Uh, it's one of those deals where, uh, you know, the competitor and all of us, so we're never going to be happy with that type of performance. And it uh, doesn't matter if it's preseason or regular season, um, playoffs, whatever. Um, as competitors, we want to be better than that, and uh, we got to be better than that. And in other news today, the Broncos signed inside linebacker Jeremiah Gimmel. He participated in today's practice in war number 51. Gimmel joined the San Francisco 49ers following this year's NFL draft and competed with the 49ers until he was waived when the team reduced their roster to 80 players. He posted two tackles in San Fran's first preseason game. Now joining me here in the studio is Broncos lead writer Eric Delala. Eric, appreciate you joining me on the show again today. You got it, Sydney. Yeah. Well, Coach Hackett said that KJ Hamler will play in Saturday's game, which is very exciting for him to get back out there. But I know we talked about this a little bit yesterday, Eric, but what do you think in a, a successful game would really look like for KJ? I think he's just got to get out there and kind of figure out how he goes through this new normal for him because he's going to wear a knee brace all season, as we talked about. That's kind of non-negotiable. So he's got to figure out really – how do I go about playing? Do I have the same speed? Does it make cutting uh, on routes feel any different? He's got to figure those things out for himself. And I caught up with him just after practice off the field, and he said he needs to prove to himself a couple of things, that he still has that speed, that he can still run by people. And so this game, you know, if he gets a catch, great. If he gets a touchdown, even better. But I think mainly it's about proving to himself that he can still do this and being in a place where week one in Seattle, he's ready to go. Well, Eric, I know you also talked this week to both Bradley Chubb and defensive coordinator Ijero Ivero just about Nick Bonito's performance this preseason. What have you thought about it so far, and what do you think he really needs to prove in this final game? Yeah, I mean, I think with Nick, you can see that he has the talent. That's really evident. Uh, I think back to the joint practice against the Cowboys, and Nick was all over the place. As many as four sacks that day, that was a point where we thought maybe he was turning the corner a little bit. I think with Nick, you've got to understand it's a process, and he's a guy that is still in his own world words, thinking a little bit too much. He's swimming a little bit out there. Bradley Chubb and uh, Coach E, they both said that's normal for a rookie. You don't necessarily expect them to come in and be 100% right away, but he does need to do enough off the field, and it sounds like he's doing that, where he can go in on game day and then not think while he's out there. And if you make a mistake, okay, that's fine, but play fast and show that talent, show that bend, show that potential. That's all really necessary, I think. And if he can do that, then he'll make an impact. But the thing I'll say about Nick is that he doesn't have to come in and be a star right away because you've got Bradley Chubb, you've got Randy Gregory, and so if he can just, you know, kind of be a little boost off the bench, that'd be great. Um, but you'll look for him to take a step this week and show that he's making strides in the playbook on the field to be able to be a factor in week one. Well, in terms of the offense, we did hear from head coach Nathaniel Hackett today. In his press conference, he said that the offense didn't really perform up to his standards at practice this week. We obviously won't see most starters on Saturday, but they do have an extra week next week. How beneficial do you think that extra week will be for them before they have to start looking at Seattle? Yeah, it's a good question. I do think next week they'll kind of start to make that transition to a little bit of the Seattle stuff. You don't want to do too much, as Nathaniel Hackett has talked about. You don't want to 
kind of uh, make the game plan dull, but it will help to have some extra practice time. And I think it's important to remember a couple of things. One is that every day, every week is critical because it's a new system. Russell Wilson and Nathaniel Hackett are trying to meld essentially what they both do and make this into something that's gonna work really well for both of them this season. So every day is important as you move forward. And then the second thing is it's just practice. And one thing we know about Russell Wilson is that he likes to challenge himself. And so when you see the Broncos out there at practice, at least as the media does every day, and you see an incompletion or you see an interception or you see some sort of missed connection or missed check or whatever it might be, that might be Russell Wilson trying to test himself or test this offense or Nathaniel Hackett saying, okay, well, we do all this stuff really well. How do we make some of the bad stuff better? And so with that, it's hard to uh, kind of view it in a vacuum. You have to think about it in terms of the context of them trying to get better. That's what practice is for. They have plenty of time before the week one game in Seattle, and I do expect them to come out and look good in week one. Well, like I mentioned earlier in the show, the Broncos did sign another inside linebacker today, Jeremiah Gimmel. What do you think about this transaction, Eric, as I feel like a lot of our fans are a little bit worried about the depth of that position? Yeah, you know, I don't know that this is going to be a a big splash signing, um, an undrafted free agent out of North Carolina. He's a guy that I think will come in and, and play some snaps this weekend. That's probably the main point of this signing is just to get the Broncos through this game because Barrington Wade was hurt in practice yesterday. Uh, but who knows, maybe he flashes, maybe he's a guy that you want to get on your practice squad. I, I'd be really surprised if he makes the active roster after just a few days of practice and, uh, and the game. But you never know. I mean, they like Jonas Griffith. He was an undrafted guy out of uh, San Francisco, and so maybe they see the same thing in this new addition. Well, just two days away now until that final preseason game. Preseason is almost over, Eric. Thank goodness. I know. Thank goodness. <laughs> Eric, appreciate your time always. You got it. Now it's time to take a look at today's injury update. Randy Gregory and Sam Martin were back at practice today. Michael Ojemudia did not practice again today, while Tyree Cleveland did some rehab work, and Natani Muti, Jonas Griffith, and Greg Dulcich all worked on a side field. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Thanks so much, Broncos country, for tuning in for another episode of Broncos Now. Make sure to meet me right back here on the Broncos Podcast Network and YouTube tomorrow evening for a preview of the Broncos' final preseason game versus the Vikings. I'll see you all then.